So what does it mean to be vulnerable? What is vulnerability? Well, I was asked to do a video on vulnerability, so here it is. <laughs> I, um, I looked up the word, like the origin of the word, and it comes from oh, this Latin word. I forgot what the word was, but what it meant was to wound or to maim, to hurt. And then I thought, wow, like that makes a lot of sense. Like it makes sense why a lot of people are afraid to open up and be vulnerable if that's the natural origin of the word. So naturally we're, we're going back to, we're, we're getting it hurt. But that's, this is where the word stems from. It stems from pain. And it makes sense to me. I mean, because initially stepping through vulnerability is very painful. Initially opening up to my feelings, my insecurities, my fears, my doubts. It, 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 it's not an easy thing to do, especially like for a young man. And I know this firsthand because I remember having to put on a front. I remember having to be hard. I remember having to be tough. And I mean, the toughest thing I've ever actually done, which in a complete paradox, is truly opening up to my feelings. Truly crying in front of people. Looking at other human beings and telling them that I don't have the answer. You know, just truly, truly, truly opening up to my emotional self. Being my authentic self and who I need to be to get where I need to be next. I truly believe that um, we've been put in a box and we've been led to believe that it's not okay to be our authentic self. I, um, I got my power just about died. I got like 20% on this left, so hopefully I can finish this off quickly. <laughs> Initially, being vulnerable and opening up to my feelings was a tough thing. I felt very judged, yet... I was inspired to do it because I knew at the end of the day that I wanted to be more of me. And I look at the world as my reflection. I look at everybody as like a reflection of my inner state. So I felt if I'm going through this, then other people must be going through this. And even though I felt judged all around me, I wrote a poem once and it went, well, part of the poem went, maybe they ain't judging, nobody budging. Everybody hugging and shrugging and loving. The judge was me, and it's hard to see that I was my own worst enemy. But now it's clear when I see how to steer to be free. Believe reality, perceive. And that always brings me back. It reminds me that we're all, in essence, vulnerable. And the only reason we don't express ourselves is because of our vulnerability, because we're actually afraid to open up to those wounds, to the pain of the fear of judgment. It's all an illusion. I mean, I would start to feel judged. And then the same person that I felt was judging me would take me aside and say, hey, I feel that way. I think the same thing. It's really, I'm mean, going to use the word trippy. It's trippy to see how many people are actually going through the same insecurities. And when we think we're going through, we're the only ones going through these insecurities or the same fears or the same process of life. How many people that actually have looked at me and related to my confusions of life has helped me in so many ways, but I wouldn't have found out that I'm not alone had I not opened up and expressed that I, I'm going through this fear, I'm going through this heartbreak, I'm going through this utter depression, I'm going through these doubts, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to find out that I'm not alone and it's very comforting to realize I'm not the only one going through this. There's other people going through this too. For me, the, the most effective approach to finding those like minds and finding those similar people on my journey has just been opening up. Opening up. Because we all just want the same thing, I believe. I believe that we all just want to be loved and accepted. Because at the end of the day, I just want to be loved and accepted. And it starts right here. In order for anybody to love me, I need to love myself. In order for anybody to accept me, I need to accept myself in my full. And that includes being open, honest, and vulnerable. And there's a way to build confidence within vulnerability. Like if, um, it's like going to the gym, you know. Um, I remember when I'd go back to the gym initially, after a while not going, it would be so hard for me to lift weights because I'm looking around and I feel like everybody's watching me. I would literally feel like everybody is watching me and uh, 
and I can't lift as much as I used to, and now that guy's lifting that much, and I'm lifting like way less than him, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> it would totally deter me from wanting to work out. But the more I would stay consistent and just lift what I could in that moment, it would grow. It would grow, it would grow, and it, I would get stronger every single day. And then I realized, nobody's actually watching me like I think. We, we walk around, we think we're being judged, so many of us, and we're actually not. People got way more stuff going on in here than to be focused on what's going on in your world. Vulnerability has helped me step through so many areas of myself. And I encourage everybody to open up to their own vulnerabilities, to realize you're not alone, it's okay to be you, and it will allow one to feel more comfortable within their body. That is very important, especially because we're in this body our whole lives. <laughs> so open up, be vulnerable, be you, do you. The more people that open up and express themselves, you're giving other people permission to be themselves. That's all we want to do is we want to be ourselves. <laughs> Just be yourself. That's why I say thank you for being you. Because whatever you're going through, I get it. I get it. It's not easy to step through it. But the more you do, I promise you, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And if you don't open up, if you don't, you're just burying this stuff in anyway. So it's still in you. But the more you open up, you're actually getting it out. You're releasing it. So just let it out. Let it out. If somebody has a problem with it, they're probably not opening up to themselves. And you don't need them around right now. Or allow them to go through what they need to go through and remind them that they're, you know, that they're loved, that they're accepted. And watch it. Watch, watch, watch this grow. The more I started opening up and being vulnerable, the more I started seeing more people open up and be vulnerable. The more people I'm meeting that are open and honest. And it, it, it's, it's amazing to be able to just be me, to dance if I want to freaking dance, to, to laugh when I want to laugh. This is, this is what, when, when you step through yourself, this is what it leads to. It leads to total and utter confidence of self. That's what I've come to find. To really, truly be able to look at life and embrace it open arms, and just smile. Vulnerability leads to confidence. That's what I've found. Let me know what you think. I want to know how vulnerability serves you. Let me know. Please message me, whatever. I, I really want to know how vulnerability is working on your path because everybody I seem to meet, every time they step through their vulnerable stealth, they build more confidence, they have more clarity. And so let's just say vulnerability leads to inner success. Thank you for being you. All right? I love you.